cold in here and my phone's blowing up. So if you hear vibrating, you know, you can hear it go, then it's my phone and I'm sorry. Hey guys, my name is Christy. This is Christy's Corner and Christy's Corner. Um, I know some of, a lot of you said you really liked the gray background. Um, I don't know if it was because it was plain or not, but I did end up putting stuff behind me. Um, this stuff was downstairs in my other corner. You just couldn't see it because it was lower. I'm sitting on the ground now, now, whereas then I was sitting in a chair. I don't know. Either way, I don't know. But if you do like this stuff behind me, let me know. I can always move around so you can see what's in there. Um, if you'd like a tour of what's behind me, let me know. If you don't know very much about my channel, if you're new here, because uh, I do have some new people, actually quite a bit new people in the past couple of weeks. Um, I do Disney content, Harry Potter content, traveling, DIYs, keto recipes, because I'm on keto, and really just whatever floats my boat. Whatever floats my boat. That was not planned. <laughs> um, so, this, today's video is a tag. It is a tag that my friend Nina and Alicia created together. Nina is from Wrestling with Disney and Alicia is from Cinder Alley Loves Disney. So they created this tag and it's a 15 question tag. So I'm going to answer these and then tag some people of my own at the end. So the name of this tag is Get to Know You Disney YouTuber Tag. I guess we'll just start off with question number one and then go from there. <laughs> question number one. Let's hold this up so I'm not looking down. Question number one. When did you start your YouTube channel? Um, so this channel I created in October of 2017 shortly after I came back from a Disney trip, but I didn't really start putting content out and it wasn't very consistent until about November or December. I think I may have put my first video out in October and then didn't put anything out for a little bit. Um, I don't really remember when I started putting the videos out, but my channel was created in October of 2017. Um, I saved this channel because I have another channel. I've never posted anything at all because it's just my personal channel where I was following people and watching them. Um, so that one doesn't count. And I've had that one for several years. Number two, when did your love for Disney start? Now, like my obsession or just like, hey, I like this movie. Oh, I like this one too. Because if you want to talk about movies um, that I liked, I, I remember my first movie that I saw um, was The Little Mermaid. And I don't think I saw it in the theater. I think I just saw it. I don't know. But my love for Disney in general would have started um, in 2017 after coming back from a Disney trip, which is funny is because it's not the first time I went to Disney, but it is the first time I went into Magic Kingdom. And walking in to Magic Kingdom kind of sealed the deal for me. And so when we went down there, our first day was at Hollywood Studios and I actually was not impressed with Hollywood Studios. It was in October of 2017. They only had what? Tower of Terror, um, Rock and Roller Coaster, Star Tours. Am I missing a ride? I mean, there are only like three rides. I'm missing a ride, right? There's a, there was a fourth, right? I don't know, I don't remember, uh, but that was the first park we went into in 2017 when we went down there. But the second park we went into was Magic Kingdom. And from the moment I stepped into Magic Kingdom, I knew that I was obsessed. <laughs> and it became a very expensive obsession, to be quite honest. Okay, number three. When did your love for Disney, oh, that's what I, no, that's what that was, number two. 
Number three, what inspired you to start sharing your love for Disney on the YouTube channel? By watching other YouTube channels, I wish I would have prepared to go to Disney a lot better before we went back in 2017. Um, I didn't prepare at all. Uh, I mean, I prepared, but I got my fast passes. I got the reservations, but I didn't know like what kind of snacks to get. I didn't know what, what the must-do rides were. I didn't know any of that because I didn't do the research that I should have done. The only thing that we did research were, were the resorts we, and where to stay. And um, we even did a bad job with that. That's a story for another time. <laughs> but uh, it was after we got back from our trip in October of 2017. Does that ring a bell? October 2017. That I was really watching all these other YouTube channels. And I really, really enjoyed what they were doing and realized that I felt like it was something that I could do too with a little practice. Number four, what are your favorite Disney topics? Anything parks, really. Um, actually, I don't really watch a whole lot of um, Hollywood Studio Park stuff unless it has to do with Galaxy's Edge or Toy Story Land. Um, but Anytime I see someone streaming in a park, my eyes are glued to it for sure. And then um, any kind of merch, really, like the merch. And if I hear people talking about Marvel, I'm there. Um, number five, if you could meet one Disney YouTuber, who would it be? Do I wanna go on a realistic scale or just whoever? Um, how about I do both? Uh, just whoever, I think it would be pretty cool to meet the Tim Tracker and Jen. Well, Jen and Tim, or Tim and Jen Tracker. Um, I feel like I've watched them so much and they share their lives with everybody that you almost know them. Obviously they don't, you don't know them because they keep their lives separate, but I feel like that. On a realistic standpoint and um, hopeful for me uh, that I really really hope I get to meet um, I do have a lot of friends on here but there's one that has been with me from the start and that reached out to me when I felt lonely um, I felt like I was just out here by myself doing these videos and it's Christina from Playdates and Travels um, we've FaceTimed we've talked on the phone a lot and to me, because she's been there since I started, I feel like, um, I feel like, I feel like she's just kind of been there for me. Uh, even when I've had frustrations, and there are other people too that have been that way, but you're having me pick one person. Um, and I feel like I've known her the longest and we have a, Bond because we have the same name. I mean, my name is Christina, but I go by Christy. I don't know. That's who. <laughs> Number six. What do your loved ones think of your love for Disney? I think they probably think I'm a little kooky, but they embrace it and they love me for who I am and it doesn't matter to them what my obsession is. Um, they also know I'm obsessed with Harry Potter, so I... I think they just think that's part of me and they accept me. I don't think they would ever, I mean, they probably do think I'm a little strange, but <laughs> who doesn't think I'm a little strange? <laughs> Number seven, what is your earliest Disney memory? Um, in the parks or just in general? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume this means like park-wise and it would be in 2007 uh, for spring break, me and one of my friends, Haley, went down to Jacksonville to where uh, we had a friend that lived down there and I was pregnant. I was five or six months pregnant with my son at the time. I wasn't really showing, well, I was really skinny so I was showing a little bit, but for like the average Joe who didn't really know me, you wouldn't have thought that I was showing. Um, and since we were going to Jacksonville and only a couple of hours away from Disney, 
they wanted to go to Disney, but they knew I was pregnant, so they were like, well, what can we do that she can do? So we did one day in Epcot because um, there were a couple of rides there that I could ride and it wouldn't hurt me. So that's what we did. We went to Epcot, we rode Soarin'. Um, that's the real, real, really the only ride I remember riding. I do remember, and I know that this is 2007, it wasn't that long ago. Um, I do remember, I think, the ride in the Mexico Pavilion. If it wasn't that one, then it was in the Norway Pavilion, but almost positive it's in the Mexico Pavilion. Um, but yeah, I remember going to Epcot and when we left, we got on the monorail and that's when you could sit in the front of the monorail and it was late, it was dark, it, it, the parks were closed, um, but we rode the monorail like several times in the very front and no one else was on there. Um, that way we could see Magic Kingdom and stuff from afar and that was a really cool, um, it was really cool. I mean, obviously it wasn't so memorable that I fell in love with Disney, but it was memorable enough to have a really good experience. Who is your favorite villain, Disney princess, and overall Disney character? So my favorite villain, I'm gonna pick two because one is Marvel, and I don't know if you guys are considering Marvel Disney because they purchased Marvel. So I'm gonna pick Loki from, um, from Avengers and uh, Thor because he is very comedic and he's a trickster and it's not that he's bad he tries to be good but i feel like he is bad if that makes sense i feel like, I feel like throughout the series he was redeeming himself to be a good brother and a good um just a good person in general but he was um a bad guy he's a favorite bad villain and the other one would be oogie boogie just because he's a big sack of potatoes. I don't know. I like Googie Boogie. <laughs> um, Disney Princess. Okay, I've honestly I've never really, really, really been into princesses. Um, I don't think I watched anything other than The Little Mermaid um, as a kid until I was a teenager. Um, I mean, I like Belle because she likes to read and I love to read. Uh, I feel like she's a very independent woman. Um, but I think since, I mean, I had a puzzle of Ariel. Um, I had the video game on Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, I loved that she had red hair and I loved that she had fins. <laughs> I don't know. So I think I'm going to go with Ariel um, on that one. Uh, and overall Disney character, Stitch and Jack Skellington. Jack Skellington because, he, I mean, I love him. He's Halloween and Christmas. And Halloween's my favorite. And Stitch, I love him just because he's so reckless and fun and gets into trouble. I did an ear switch on you. Um, so number nine, what Disney character do you think you relate to most? Can I pick two? I'm going to pick two. Um, I'm going to say Captain America because he needs order and he, he needs control of situations. And I feel like I'm very much that way that I, I am very... OCD in certain aspects of my life and I'm I need control and I need to have order and when things get chaotic it just drives me crazy um, but on the flip side of that I'm gonna say Loki because he his of his sense of humor I don't know how well you guys how well you guys know me some of you know me pretty well and I do have like a strange sense of humor well where I'll just like say off the wall things I feel like Loki does that so like maybe mesh those two characters together and that relates to me the most that's my thoughts anyway I don't know you guys tell me what you think um number 
10. Do you share your love for Disney outside of YouTube community? Sorta. Um, most everyone, I mean, I carry a Disney purse. Like at a Dooney and Burke, um, I don't know, it's a Dooney and Burke purse. My husband got it for me. My sunglasses have Mickey Mouse on it. So, I mean, I don't just start talking about Disney to people unless I have just come back from a trip. Of course I do. Uh, but if somebody asks or whatever, yeah, I mean, I'll mention it. Um, to be quite frank, the only Disney thing I have on my desk at work is I have a Jack Skellington pop and then I have a, um, a birthday card from when, uh, from my team and they drew Minnie Mouse on the envelope of it. Uh, everything else I have is a DC comic and yeah, DC comic and Harry Potter stuff. So, sort of. I, I share my love for it if I'm approached. If I'm not, I, I don't really because I, I don't, I don't want to push it on people. Number 11. How has the overall experience of being a Disney YouTuber how has the overall experience of being a Disney YouTuber been this thus far? Up and downs, to be quite honest. Um, I've met some wonderful people. I've built some wonderful bonds. Um, at times, I feel like, and it's probably my own fault because I, I don't really push the growing, or at least I haven't in the past. Um, I felt stagnant in my growth of YouTube and every time I reached out to slightly larger or larger channels I don't feel like it's been reciprocated like um, not with everyone but with some that when I've reached out to them to try to build my relationship with them um, and grow and learn from them because that's the whole goal is to build relationships and learn from people and grow um, I don't feel like it's been reciprocated I don't feel like they've been like oh yeah you're a new channel okay we'll take you under our wing we'll be friends with you I don't I don't really feel like that's really happened with me um, I feel like some channels are polite uh, but I mean everybody mostly in the in the Disney YouTube verse YouTube verse Disneyverse um, are pretty polite and um, respectful but I felt like I feel like for the most part when I tried to reach out and embrace a friendship that it wasn't reciprocated um, I don't know if that's just me feeling that way and they do consider me friends I, I don't really know it wasn't until recent other than Christina from Playdates and Travels um, other, th other than recently, I, I haven't felt the support. Um, it's, it's been a very recent development where I have felt support from, from other channels. Um, and I mean, it was very discouraging for a long time. I will say I was under 100 subscribers for the first probably 10 months, if not more. Um, and it didn't matter who I reached out to to be like, hey, I'd like to get to know you, blah, 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 blah. It, it, it was not really reciprocated. Or if it was, it would be like, yeah, yeah, sure. And then I would reach out to them for something else, like um, not necessarily something else, but I'd reach out to them again to be like, hey, why don't we do this together? And I would be kind of shut down nicely. Nicely, of course, but I'd be like shut down and um, it was very discouraging. Very, very discouraging. I, uh, okay. Number 12. What do your loved ones think about you being on YouTube? I didn't really just say, hey, here's my channel. Now, some of them, yeah, they know I have a channel. Some of them, yeah, they'll, they'll probably come and watch occasionally. Um, no one ever comments. Um, so, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know how they feel about it. 
Um, my husband seems to be okay with it, but he doesn't want to be in the videos. My kids are, um, they want to be in every video. <laughs> I have to tell them no, or I'll be like, okay, yeah, you can be in this one. <laughs> so uh, my direct family, my husband, he's okay with it. He's he embraced it. He told me I could have a corner in his room, so here I am. Um, bonus room. It's the bonus room. It's a man cave. <laughs> now it's the corner, Christie's corner, and the rest is the man cave. <laughs> but yeah, my kids love it. Um, with the rest of my family, I, I didn't really share the information with them. If they found out inadvertently, they did, and that's fine. And they probably watched some of the videos, but for the most part, <laughs> I haven't really, I don't know. Um, how has YouTubing about Disney helped to bring Disney magic into your life? That's a good question. Um, like I said, at first I was very discouraged and kind of felt alone other than Christina from Playdates and Travels. Let me just mention her name a million times. But um, as of late, I've started to make bonds with people, create bonds with people, uh, talk to people. I uh, discovered small shops that made cute ears like this. Um, discovered pins by watching YouTube's and YouTube videos and having the opportunity to do pin trading. I like to do pin trading when I can get a chance. Um, and I got, a, I ended up getting a PO box. So when I get, so having pins or anything come in my PO box brings magic into my life. I don't, I mean, it could be like a little postcard and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Who gets excited on a postcard? This girl. Um, uh, making those friends by being, I wouldn't have some of the friends that I have now if I didn't have my channel. Um, some of those friends would be Alicia from Cinder Alley Loves Disney, uh, Christina from Playdates and Travels, Bob and Ashley from Bob and Ashley, Jeff from Dole Whip Dad. They're all very supportive of supportive people in I'm very appreciative of them and would love to be able to meet all of them at some point in time. I know I didn't say everybody, but there are several people out there. Uh, number 14, what are other, what are your other passions outside of Disney and YouTube? Harry Potter, The Green Arrow, which is a DC comic, um, arts and crafts, I like arts and crafts. Uh, painting, I paint um, this this painting here, uh, that one behind Baloo there, it, they're both paintings I painted. Uh, these jars that's right up here, I made those part of arts and crafts. <laughs> um, snowboarding, I love to go snowboarding. It has been over a year since I've been, but maybe I'll get to go this December or January, which would be next January since, you know, that would be in 2020. And traveling, I love to travel, and I don't get to travel quite as often as I wish I could. And the last question, now that this video is probably extremely, 26 minutes long right now, going on 26 minutes. What is your biggest dream for your channel? My dream for my channel, other than building more friendships and making friendships that I currently have stronger, is I really, really want to be able to make money from my channel so that I can support my love for Disney and pay for my trips to go to Disney. <laughs> because I'm gonna tell you right now, I've talked to my husband several times to convince him after this year's trip in November, we're not going back for a couple of years. So, I mean, that kind of hurts, but I get it. I mean, this will be the third year in a row that we've gone and man, um, it's gonna hurt for sure. Okay, so that's all my answers. I hope you got to know me a little better. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If, um, if there's anything that you can relate to in it, leave me, some, uh, leave me a comment and let me know. I'd really like to hear your thoughts too. Okay, so I gotta tag some people. 
and get this tag on. Yeah, I wrote everything down. Um, I'm gonna tag the Mouse Diva, Fairy Tales of Fitness, Allison WDW Girl, and the Disney Sisters to do this tag. Um, all right, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you like the kind of content that I put out, please hit that subscribe button and the little bell notification. And don't forget to hit the like button and leave me a comment. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.